Happy Anna Howard Shaw Day, everyone. Psst, that was a 30 Rock reference. So I've come up with a brief list of books at, somehow related to Valentine's Day. The first book I'm recommending today is The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. It's by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barrows, and it's excellent! First of all, it's written in the form of letters back and forth between these various people, which is pretty cool. It's really cool to see how the characters express themselves, like they aren't described to you directly, but you kind of get to know them through the way they write their letters and what they're saying or not saying and what matters to them and what doesn't. Set in 1946, obviously right after World War II, London is in shambles. So we start out with the main character, um, Juliet Ashton, who's an author. What? And I don't really know how to explain everything without giving stuff away, but it's, you know, moving and touching and good, and I like it a lot, and there's a romance aspect to it, so Valentine's Day, read the book. Second book I'm recommending is called Anna and the French Kiss. Before you think this is some awkward, horrible book about people learning to French kiss, because that sounds, like, gross and not something you want to read in my opinion. It's actually a really good book by Stephanie Perkins. The main character, Anna, has been sent away from her comfortable and familiar life in Atlanta, Georgia by her estranged father, who is um, basically Nicholas Sparks, and sent to France for boarding school because he's like, that's what rich people do, I'm gonna do it too. It'll be good for you. Go! And of course she's miserable and doesn't want to be there, but then she makes friends and things change and it's nice and it's lovely and there's a guy and yeah, then she, I don't know how to do this without telling you exactly what happens. Basically there's um, some adventuring and personal growth and a romance and complications and French and movies because she wants to be a movie critic. Read it. <laughs> it's good. Paper Valentine is the next book. This is not really like the kind of book that maybe you would want to read if you're just looking for really light-hearted fluffy times. It's a really interesting concept because the main character has a best friend um, but she's a ghost. She died about six months before the book takes place of an eating disorder and so if that's a trigger for you or something you probably aren't going to want to read this book heads up there's a lot of character development in this book with the main character deciding who she's really friends with and who she can live without and who she should live without and kind of this process of grieving for her friend and letting her go and the friend going to rest also mixed in with a mystery because someone is out there killing girls, which is what the paper valentine part comes from. Um, the victims have been found with the paper valentine on them. So yeah, that's a happy fuzzy story for your Valentine's Day celebrations, right? Yeah. And I have an entire collection of work for you to peruse in case you want something um, romantic and with an element of mystery. If you never read the author Elizabeth Peters, you might want to check her out. She has titles like um, Legend in Green Velvet, the entire Amelia Peabody series, The Copenhagen Connection. That's all for me today. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day slash Anna Bernard Shaw Day. Again, all authors and titles are in the description box below. Bye! Good girl. This is Valentine's Day special. Probably won't be uploaded until much later than Valentine's Day because my Wi Fi is so slow. <sighs> I don't know where I'm gonna put the cover. My sweater is red and it has hearts on it. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? Can you tell? There's hearts. There's hearts everywhere. A happy Anna Howard Shaw day to us all.